Thank you for coming to this session. Let's start the talk about MV and DOM. Before our talk, we would like to make some announcements. This presentation will be a little bit technical, and it's including C rather than Ruby. We want to explain the implementation of MV, and it is implementation in C. So we must use C in this presentation. But you do not need to know about MV, and C expects the details of implementation. Let me introduce ourselves. I'm Yurie Yamane. And I, I'm Masayoshi Takahashi. We are team Yamaneko. We have development MRuby applications and development tool for MRuby. I am Yuri. I'm interested in microcomputer and real-time OS. I'm a member of Topaz project. Topaz project make kernel for real-time OS and tools. I do development uh, demonstrations and presentations at many exhibitions. And uh, I'm an ebook publisher and a committer of ebook publishing tool uh, called uh, Review. Uh, you can get it from rubygems.org. <laughs> I'm also a member of Ruby Kagi organizer team. We, we will hold uh, Ruby Kagi 2019 uh, in Fukuoka next April. Uh, so we hope you come and join us. Okay, let's get into the main topic. The topic of this talk is MRuby and DOM. First, we will briefly explain about MRuby. MRuby is an implement implementation of Ruby, like CRuby, JRuby, Rubinus, and Opal. It is also called lightweight Ruby. MRuby is a very small implementation comp compared to CRuby and JRuby. It's compiled with the ISO standard of Ruby. MV has main two target areas, embedded systems and applications, such as server and games. We have focused the former embedded system. We have got many microcontroller boards and tried to use MRB on them. In this talk, we show two devices Left one of the side is a Nucleo F401RE. The, there is an ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller in the board. Right is M5 stack. It is a famous board in China and Japan. There is an ESP32 microcontroller on it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is nuclear board. <laughs> uh, it's display. Uh, the LCD has a joystick, and uh, you can see the cursor. <laughs> So uh, we move a castle with uh, with this joystick controller. Another microcomputer is M5 stack. This uh, this has a buzzer and three buttons. One to three. So uh, Uh, let's play it at the music. <laughs> Thank you for all. If we use Ruby or other language only on PC, you might not microcontrollers. So let me explain about microcontrollers. A micro 
microcontroller is like a small computer on a single chip. It contains processor core called MPU, RAM, ROM, a lot of peripheral and other modules. Microcontrollers are used in smartphone, home appliance, automobile, automobile, and so on. Now back to MRuby. One of the difference between MRuby and other rubies is the position of the bytecode. MRuby's VM and compiler are completely separate, and you can execute MRuby VM without compilers. In such a situation, you can use MRB, uh, MRB file, which contains the bytecode for MRB. When you use, when you use CRuby, you also use bytecode generated by CRuby, but it's not explicit. It's only used inside of the VM. The current hot topics of MRB is 2.0. MRB 2.0 will be released soon, maybe in the next month or so, according to the MRB forum. It's the first ma major update of MRB and introduces incompatibility. <laughs> Sorry, and introduces incompatibility. The architecture of bytecode is completely completely different, and you cannot use bytecode generated by 2.0 in MRuby 1.4. But it means that it's a good time to use MRuby now. Let's prefer for 2.0 uh, brand new MRuby. Now, let's talk about ROM. ROM is an abbreviation of read-only memory. It's also called non-volatile memory because it's not erased without power. There are various types of ROM. The target here is EEPROM. EEPROM is an abbreviation for electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. EEPROM requires no power to hold data. But power is required to delete and register data. This picture is STM EEPROM. Flash ROM or flash memory is a kind of EEPROM. You can erase data on flash only in per block units, not per byte units. You may use it as USB memory. Currently, microcontrollers usually use flash ROM and main storage. In summary, the relation between ROM, EEPROM, and flash is like this picture. A part of ROM is EEPROM and a part of its flash memory. But why are we focusing on ROM? The first reason is that ROM can store more data than RAM. In a microcontroller, ROM capacity is usually rather than RAM capacity, especially in chip boards. This is a list of microcontrollers that we have used. The last item, Arduino Uno, was just as a difference. Arduino Uno is too small to use normal MRuby. On the other words, we have tried to use MRuby. As you can see from this table, the lower the price, the smaller the RAM capacity. And except for expensive boards, you can see that the capacity of flash ROM is rather, rather than capacity of RAM. Why does a microcontroller have this RAM? First of all, the reason is the cost. Microcontrollers tend to be used for devices with only a simple function, so that need only, only the minimum amount of RAM. Another reason is the problem of power consumption. RAM requires power to hold data. This means that uh, 
RAM increases, the power consumption uh, will increase. In, I found an answer for the same question in Stack Exchange. So please read this page as well. The second reason we focus on RAM is that Ruby may, Ruby may consume RAM before execution. What does before execution mean? For example, consider displaying hard world. As Ruby code, it is just on one line, but there are some something for processing system does in order to execute this line. The first thing we need is memory initialization. Since Ruby uses GC for memory mem memory management, it's it's corresponds to in initialization of GC and initialization of heap memory used by GC. Another thing in initialization of standard classes, various classes are used in Ruby. You need to prepare all the classes before running your Ruby script. It is the second task that becomes a problem. The fact that standard class initialization is executed at this time this timing means that all the standard classes are pre placed in RAM. In other words, we executing a Ruby program, program, RAM is always consumed to generate the standard class and object in order to use various classes, some as object, class, kernel, numeric standard st string, and so on. RAM is used even if you do not read a Ruby script line. It is not good news for us. On the other hand, in other object-oriented languages, such as C++ and MicroPython, it does not seem to happen. Classes and method definitions can also be placed in ROM. Why is there such a difference? That's because Ruby is a very dynamic language. As we all know, the characteristic of Ruby are uh, dynamic. In Ruby, even in standard class, methods can be added, deleted, and de defined. The Ruby class is also an ordinary object called an instance of the class class. This wonderful, this wonderful figure feature of Ruby has become a serious problem in using Ruby on microcontroller. Now, let me sum summarize the talk up this point. On embedded devices, we can use only a small amount of Ruby, sm small amount of RAM. Therefore, we want to utilize ROM rather than RAM. However, since Ruby is a dynamic language, even object, including standard classes, consume RAM, it is what we want to solve here. In other words, we want to solve the con con contradiction, con solve the contradiction be between the dynamic language Ruby and static storage ROM. Let's talk uh, a uh, let's talk uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's talk a uh, closer like, uh, MDB object and its management. Uh, MDB is written in C. And so, various data structures are defined as a structure in C. Uh, for example, the entity of MLBVM is a structure called MRB state in C. The MRB state holds main standard class objects as a member of the structure. The MLB class object is an R class structure in C. And the R class structure has members IV and members MT. 
Uh, in MLB, IB is an abbreviation for the instance variable, and MT is an abbreviation for the method table. The method table is a table of methods as the name suggests. Each class manages a method that can be used in the class by a table. The instance variable of the class class contains internal data for managing class information. For example, uh, the class name is stored here. This is a definition of R class in C. Uh, thus, IB and MT are in R class as IBTBL and uh, IBTBL structure and uh, KTMT structure, respectively. MRB object header is a common header of objects, and super is a pointer to superclass. By the way, uh, how do you use ROM and RAM uh, properly? If you think in terms of modern programming language, uh, you should consider ROM as uh, immutable and RAM as a mutable. It's important here that members of immutable structures may be mutable, and on the contrary, members of mutable structures may be immutable. Regarding the use of ROM and RAM, uh, it, it is as shown in these figures. Uh, RAM is uh, on the left and ROM is on the right. The state of the MRB state, the read, MRB VM, changed at runtime, so need to be placed in RAM. But the class object itself can be placed in ROM. However, the table that manages the instance variables and the table that manages the method is in RAM because it, ha it changes while executing. And even if uh, the table of method is in RAM, certain method definition can be placed in ROM. As I mentioned earlier, uh, methods may be added at runtime. The added method will be put in RAM. Thus, uh, if we understand how to use ROM and RAM well, uh, we can use ROM without changing the dynamic nature of Ruby. Now let's explain about the symbol table. The symbol table is a table uh, related to name inside MRuby. Names such as class names and method names are managed as symbols. The entity of the symbol class in Ruby is this symbol. The symbol table has numeric ID and string name. This symbol ID is used to manage method and classes inside MRuby. Therefore, in order to put method and classes in ROM, the symbol table must be placed in ROM. In normal MLB, the symbol table is also stored in RAM, so we need to change it here as well. In the expression so far, I think we were able to share our problem. Let's think about an implementation to solve it. And this is a small program to use embedded to MLB. Uh, it's just to show hello world. The function MRB open here is the initialization of MRB itself. The next if statement is uh, exception handling when initialization fails, uh, and the next function MRB load string read and execute Ruby scripts uh, given as a character strings. Uh, like a uh, put hello world. The reads MRB open is the initialization process that we are targeting here. This is the outline of MRB open. First, we initialize memory management and initialize the symbol table. Next, we initialize basic classes such as class class object class, and kernel module. Since basic class bootstrapping requires special work, it is separated from other general classes. Then, the class definition written in C, the class definition written in Ruby, uh, and 
the class definition by MRB James, which is Ruby James for MRuby, are initialized. Let's consider how to put the symbol table in ROM. To search for symbol names for, from a symbol ID, it would not be a problem with a simple array. In order to efficiently retrieve the symbol ID from symbol name, uh, some ingenuity is necessary. Here, we use GPuff. GPuff is what is called a perfect hash function generator. Actually, it is also famous used in CLB. Please refer to this URL for the details usage. How can we find symbols used in MLB? Uh, here, we simply scan the MLB source code and extract the strings that are supposed to be symbols. The extracted symbols are stored in JSON format and converted to a key file for Jipper by another script. Then, converted into C language source, source using Jipper. Doing this makes it easier to edit symbols at the stage of JSON. Detecting methods also use a similar method as detecting symbols. Like this. By the way, how can we arrange structure in C into ROM? An easy way is putting the const qualifier. Another way is preparing special segments with linker script. But if you do not need to do something complicated so far, const is enough. This is a code generated by GPuff. In GPuff, by generating static const like this, we arranged uh, an array of names and data used by hash function in ROM. Comparing the result of using ROM and not using it, uh, memory usage is reduced by about 20%. However, there are places I have not done yet so I will try for further improvement. Future works. I will also explain what is currently under development and what we plan to develop later. There are three issues here. Currently, uh, we have tried to put ILAP structure on ROM. In addition, we should support MRuby 2.0 explained first. Furthermore, I would like to give feedback to the MLB repository as well. First, I will explain the ILAP structure. MLB ILAP is a structure for managing compiled Ruby script in MLB. The right side is a definition of the structure. Ruby scripts in standard library and MRB gems become ILAP structures. Since ILAP are placed in RAM, we want to make them on ROM. We have an idea to put ILAP on ROM that executing MRV open to generate ILAP structures and dump them all as C language code. While doing this, we can generate a JSON file for symbols uh, at the same time. Since it's still on work in progress and the measurement method is different from the previous chart, so we cannot compare them, but when we use RAM through 3, we should reduce RAM memory so much like this chart. In MLB 2.0, the implementation of instance variables seem to be changed significantly. We should also make change for that, uh, left side is MLB 1.4 and right side is MLB 2.0. Uh, MLB 1.4 use a hash structure, but MLB 2.0 use a segment list structure. So we can fix this uh, structure. Uh, furthermore, 
for this method to be widely used, uh, it's necessary to implement it without modifying MRuby itself. Unfortunately, the current part cannot work without modifying MRuby slightly. For example, when implementing method of MRuby in C, a static declaration is given to some functions like this figure, like the figures. Uh, therefore, even if you try to put a point to this function in ROM, an error will occur at compile time. We'd like to ask Matt how fix to avoid this. And here is good news I would like to tell you. Uh, this pro project was selected by Ruby Association Grand Committee. <laughs> we are very happy to be chosen. Uh, we will do our best to make a good result by all means. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I summarized the talk. RAM is small in embedded devices, so we want to make more use of RAM. On the other hand, since Ruby is a dynamic language, every class object can be mutable. But even if the object is mutable, you can divide it into, uh, into elements and uh, put some of them in RAM. Let's use MRuby on various boards. Uh, we have got lot. We have got lot of opinions and cooperation for our work. We really appreciate them. Thank you for coming, and let's enjoy MRuby. Thank you.